colleges are real powerhouses of transforming lives. That's really what brings me to work in the college sector every day. The future of FE looks very much like the past of FE. We are the custodians of a thousand years of skills transmission. That is what we will continue to do. And as those skills evolve, we evolve to match. The future is digital, the future is innovative, the future is adaptive, and that's who we are at our core. When we discuss further education, most people go straight to the Butler Act in 1944 and the post-war developments in technical and further education. But actually, in prehistory, people were learning flint napping from flint masters. It's the same principles today. The guilds that were established across Europe in the 12th century controlled the industrial transmission of skills like bricklaying and stone masonry. And we are the custodians of that really rich culture. The UK economy actually hinges on the skills we provide. So two thirds of our students every year will exit straight into industry and straight into work. But all industrial economies are hinged on their skills systems because those skills enable everything else to happen. So we are incredibly important for the UK economy and skills is incredibly important for the global economy. Most of what people are studying today is not going to serve them well for jobs that don't even yet exist. Anything that can be automated will be. So we're needing to teach people a whole range of different skills. All of our industries now are becoming more tech enabled. You book in for beauty consultations online. Everything we do to service our industries has to match what they do now and what they plan to do in the future. And we can't meet those needs without being digitally enabled, both our staff and our students. The metaverse will and already has impacted massively on FE. It's allowing us to create memorable and engaging experiences for learners. Our teachers are often dual professionals. They have a profession, they were a plumber, they were an electrician, they were a wind turbine technician, they were a chef, but they are also qualified teachers. And it's vital that both of their skill sets are kept up to date to serve those industries. Becoming tech enabled and becoming digitally literate now is a core part of our teaching. We invest heavily in technologies of the future, in electric vehicle technology, biotechnology, CRISPR gene editing for our science students. So we take the leading edge and we try to adapt it to be applied practically. We actively embed in VR and augmented reality and all these new technologies to get learners as future ready as possible. You can train for skills quite easily, but training for cultural and technological adaptation is really challenging. So our job is to make sure that our students are not just technically literate or digitally literate, but they are adaptive, they know how to evolve and they know how to change in their industry. In FE, we have the imagination to see the future. We, we track futurologist trends. We speak to our business. They know what's the leading edge and where their industry could develop over the next 20 years. And it is genuinely educated guesswork, but it's a taste, it's a flavour, so that the first time a student from 10 years ago saw an electric vehicle in their business, they knew what that vehicle was, they knew what it could do because they'd learned it 10 years ago. And it's the same for our students now with quantum computing, with artificial intelligence, with biotechnology, in the beauty industry. The first time they encounter those amazing innovations, won't be the first time they've heard of them. Further education has always been a driving force of developing the human skills, the social skills. We're giving people that fabulous step in the right direction and getting them a career at the end of it as well. It is the colleges, the FE space is time to shine. We have the best job in the world. We are able to transform lives. We attract inward investment into our communities. We shape young people to be fit for the future. We help businesses thrive and be prosperous. And we serve our communities. Because the future is happening right now. <laughs>